Hey guys, welcome back to Class with Cass. So today's video is a little room tour. It is, what day is it? It is Friday. I moved in here last Tuesday. So it's been a little bit more than a week and um, crazy how time flies. But anyways, it takes me a long time to like set up my room. So I'm really excited to show you guys. First off, I'm going to go and have to clean and organize a little bit because, you know, don't believe everything that you see. Lives are not as picture perfect as they present. It's actually a hot mess right now. So let me get my life together and then I'll take you on a little tour. Now, a lot of the things that I ordered um, are from Amazon. Um, I also look at Dollar Tree because they weirdly have a lot of like great wall decor um so i will also walk you through kind of like where i got certain decorations um and also logically like how i like to arrange my room to produce the best flow um what do i mean by that i mean literally going from like my bed to like where i hang my towel um and like where i grab my stuff to go to the restroom and like where is my coffee and all of that Yes, a lot of thought has went through that. Um, so yeah, I will just like walk you through my process of like how I set up my room. But so stay tuned, let me go clean my room and we'll be right back. Okay, so this is the door where you enter. This is where I like to hang my key and my mask, you know, so I don't forget it. Um, on the back of the door, look at this old calendar <laughs> that my dear friend gave to me. It's like Wang Fu's calendar of like hot Asian men. <laughs> And this is like from last last year or something like that. And there's one of Simu Liu and I just watched Shang-Chi. So there you go. Um, so coming in from the door, uh, that's the switch to the main light. Um, I have a few, you know, pieces of wall decor up. Um, the ones on the left and right, Rise Up and Pray and Bless Our Nest, I found for like $5 each at like the local like dollar family tree store. Um, this right here uh, was such a good purchase. I got it from Urban Outfitters and it was on sale for like, I want to say like 10 to $12. And I know the original for tapestries is like way higher than that. But anyways, I essentially decided to go with like this, you know, red, orange-ish like fall theme um, because of this like, uh, my words, uh, coat hanger. Yes, this coat hanger that I got off of free and for sale. Um, at first I was like, oh, I want to repaint it um, to be blue or something that could go along with like the decor that I ordered for the rest of my room. But then I decided to keep it like this because you know, it's beautiful. So then I got that wreath also from like the family Dollar Tree. Those, these two paintings right here, I thought they were so lovely. Um, also got it from the family Dollar Tree store that's right close to where I live. Um, and they were like a dollar each and I thought they were so beautiful, so lovely. Um, this bowl, I really love. I got from like a flea market in, um, I believe I was in Amsterdam. Uh, it was basically while I was abroad, but it's just so lovely. I just think it's so beautiful. Um, this Ikea table I got for like seven bucks off of free and for sale. Underneath here, um, also got that organization bin off free and for sale. This is where, you know, I keep my shoes. Inside here is, uh, oddly enough, um, my hair dryer, because <laughs> this is where I like to blow my hair, and then my exercise weights. And that um, exercise mat, also from free and for sale. Um, and so here we have like stuff that I'm probably going to get rid of soon, as in that mat, trying to sell it. Um, this Dyson fan is not mine. It belongs to someone else. And I've emailed him that his stuff is in my room, but he has not yet responded. So in the meantime, I have a nice fan. Um, there's my little Audrey Hepburn like postage. Um, probably got it also somewhere uh, abroad, I think, probably in Berlin. Um, okay, and so this is like the area in which I work out in. Uh, this is the view of for, from my room. Um, you can see 
Oh, there's people on that roof. Uh, that building right there, that one is Sterling. Yes, Sterling Memorial Library. This building right here with the little umbrellas and stuff, that's Shere Khan. Uh, it's this like really great Indian restaurant. Um, you can see the Hartness Bell Tower. Uh, yeah, and this is kind of my view. And you know what's funny? Everyone who, or like almost everyone who enters Styles has to go through this entrance like right below me. Um, so I can see them as they walk under me. Uh, yeah, so this is where I park my scooter, my lovely trustworthy scooter. That is just a box of like things that I need to sell slash get rid of. And here's this side of my room. Okay, so here is my thought processes behind um, the decor and where I put things. So I thought since my bed sheets and stuff were blue, I would put that and that there, kind of going for cool colors, kind of opposite to here, you know, it's kind of nice. Um, essentially those wall decors I got on Amazon and I really like them. They really do so much to brighten up this room. Right now my bed doesn't have a comforter as you can see because it's very hot. Um, that's my laundry bag. I'm such a fan of these and by the way all of these I'll link down to the description below if you're curious. Laundry bag from Amazon. The reason why I like it is because um, a lot of bags don't have like stand up capacity. I mean, obviously right now it's staying up because it's full, but normally they just like collapse. But this one has like four little rods on the inside that make sure it's standing at all times. Plus there's this loop, so it makes it really easy to sling over my shoulders and bring down however many flights of stairs. Why are these bags here? It's because I'm gonna go visit a friend in Smith in about a few hours. Um, I hang my towel here and my little caddy here uh, because it's close to the door. So when I need to go, I just like go. You know, grab my towel, go to the door. Um, these are fairy lights that I went to get and got from Amazon. I'm not sure if I would like recommend them to you guys because they always burn out after like one or two semesters of use. So yeah, I think I would just invest in like higher quality fairy lights if you want it to last all four years of college, which mine did not. Um, and so here is, that's a tissue box in the corner. I have some tulips from, I got from Amsterdam. Um, you know, Peter Pan decor, um, throw it back to sophomore year where all of my decor was solely Peter Pan. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy. Um, so here's this like little great coffee table that I got, um, I think from Bed and Bath. I really love it over the years because I like having a place to put my phone um, and like other things, my water bottle right before I go to sleep. This alarm, beautiful, shows the time, also lights up. Uh, this is actually a Bluetooth speaker and it is adorable. I charge it here. So behind here, that is, this is, uh, I like having uh, my fairy lights somewhere close to where I go to sleep so that, you know, I get that dim lighting before I go to bed and I don't have to roll out of bed to unplug this. Yeah. Um, and then below here, I actually have my, um, it is, what do you call it? Oh, my noise machine. So you can hear it. It just sounds like the roar of like an ocean or like a fan um, helps me sleep, especially, you know, you, there's a lot going on in college. Sometimes there's parties or like a lot of bim bim bom bom, like up and down the stairs, stuff like that. So yeah, and then under my bed here, that's where I keep my suitcases, um, my weight machine. Uh, I just pull it out um, when I need it. And then my collection of shoes here. Uh, a part of me was like, should I get a shoe organizer? Then I was like, eh, let's put it under the bed and no one will see it. And the rest of my room looks fairly neat-ish. That's where I hang my bags. Um, this mat, because I don't like my feet to hit the floor, like the cold floor when I get out of bed first thing in the morning. Um, on this side of the room, amazing, amazing deal that I got at Walmart. Um, it's like $20, like, you know, four years ago. It was one of the, the first or second purchases that I made um, when I got here and love it. A lot of um, tears have been shed on this chair by friends or, um, and, and joy and laughter as well. And this is what I watch TV in. So at night, basically, I pull this chair here, I pull my monitor to the edge of the desk, and then I like bring out my Bluetooth speaker, and then I have my own little theater show. Um, 
and it's great. Okay, so here's like the calendar that I put to the side of my desk. Um, I put all important dates there. Um, that here is my little uh, trusty Keurig coffee maker, a kettle for tea, my blender as you all have seen, love it. Um, and my Brita filter, um, this, let me organize it briefly. Uh, so this tray, I like to bring, I, I like to have this tray to like just grab everything that needs to be washed and go to the bathroom in, in one trip. Um, so that's where I dry things. Um, I have always used a monitor, have always used like a trackpad and an external keyboard. Um, you know, these are my notes. Uh, my laptop, sort of the upper area where I have a few decorations, photos of friends, here's where I keep my books, those are my pills, uh, shake, um, this is where I keep like jewelry and stuff and watches and sunglasses. Up there that box is like all my Keurig coffee cups. It's a variety box which is really exciting so you never know what you're gonna get. They're all different from each other. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, my desk also comes along, oh, let me show you what's under my desk first. So I like to have this carpet below my chair because it I, it's, makes it like easier to like slide in and out. Um, and then I like cushions on my chair. So this like kitchen cushion seat plus this pillow that also got from Freedom for Sale. There's my trash can and that stool. I don't know, I just like to rest my feet. Um, and also, back when I lived in my first year room, it was really difficult to reach high things. And those shelves were much higher than the ones I have here. Okay, so my built-in shelf also comes with two drawers. Up here uh, is all my like hair accessories. And then down here is like literally miscellaneous. It's like everything, it's like pads. It's cleaning material, it's laundry supplies, yada yada, boring. Um, my trusty Swiffer, of course, and this is the wardrobe that they have given me. Um, up top, I just keep, again, extra stuff that I can't fit elsewhere, and let's take a look inside. So, this side, I keep all my tops. Um, keep in mind that a lot of my clothes is still in storage, and by storage I mean under my bed in those suitcases. So these are just my summer clothes right now. Um, these are my, some of my tops. It's looking a little barren because it's the end of the week and I haven't done laundry yet. This is where I keep all of my facial products. This is where I do my contacts in the morning, etc, etc. Um, and then you have, this is where I keep my pajamas. Uh, bras, sleep bras, underwear. Ugh. So messy right now. But <laughs> this is where I keep my exercise clothes and like extra towels. And then this bottom one here is like the other set of sheets that I have plus a blanket. And then on this side, um, this bag, these two bags I take in with me to the shower. So this one's for dirty clothes. And then this one, this one holds like my pajamas usually. Um, and then here is what it looks like. So it's like a full length closet. Um, I like these hangers a lot because you can clip like four things onto one and it like really saves space. Down there is like a bunch of other clothes I brought from home that I could not fit in my suitcases slash yeah, I don't know, I just left them there because I'm lazy and eventually I will use them. They're mostly sweats and sweatshirts. So, I think that is about it. This is my room, guys. Um, yeah, well, thanks so much for uh, coming on this like tour with me. Gosh, I think I rambled a few times, but I hope that was instructive. And if you have any like specific questions, that I did not cover, you can leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Cheers.